My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is The Weekly Dump. Thank you very much for tuning in. Jake, how was your weekend? Jim, it was a good weekend. Big sports weekend. Horns. What about you? It's a good weekend. Weather was nice, then it was bad, and then it was really windy. It was like nice, but then the, it was so windy. We went to the park, it rained one hour. You know what they say about that New Jersey weather this time of year? It all happen. What about the sports? Jim, the baseball season is rolling, and we had some beef in Los Angeles. Been there. Chorizo. Uh, but I'm talking about the baseball game. Padres-Dodgers, normally a hot, contested rivalry, and everyone's seeing who can keep up with the Dodgers this year, and the Padres have, and Profer got Profer got talked junk to accidentally, and then he basically gets the game-winning hit, so don't ever call him irrelevant. Yeah, Will Smith. With the Mr. Irrelevant. I'm Mr. Irrelevant? But what happened was Gavin Stone, brother, just won a lot of awards in the warehouse, yeah. but he was uh, tossing himself a perfect game. Profar comes up. Now, I read somewhere, I didn't watch it, but I read he, he tried to bunt and he thought maybe he was getting thrown out because he tried to bunt during perfect game. It wasn't even that inside, but the first pitch was inside, but it wasn't anything to get upset about. Profar got really upset. And then the dugout's clear. I'm kind of... You got to change the tone. Profar said after the fact, yeah, I was upset. I did think he was trying to hit me, but once someone told me he had a perfect game going on. I don't think he was trying to hit me anymore. <laughs> a good follow-up. It's a good follow-up. Actually, my bad. Does get the big bases clearing knock the next game. Padres take the series. My question to you. I'm, I'm Chris Rose. Is Jerkson Profar irrelevant? Hmm. Up until this point, yeah. He's one of those should be, but we all know his name. It's he was a such fun a high name. prospect. He was a top prospect. He underachieved. He's had some moments but none that, like, impact baseball history. Angel Hernandez missed strike. Ah, Jim. Ah. Talking about this almost a shakedown. This is a good one. Almost a breakdown is a great one. It's brought to you by Shady Rays. It's a cool story, so I got to put on my cool Shady Rays. Dell says... George Starr Bleep that. comes into pitch. New Jersey high school baseball. Great game, actually. Back and forth. Delcy, they take the lead in the end. Then there's two outs. There's two runners on. The coach comes out. He says, if this guy gets to second, there's a mound meeting. And then he like looks at me like, oh, fucking do it. They do the little big league hidden ball trick. If anyone is my age and seen little big league, when they all shake their hat at each other and even the security guard gets in on it and Bowers on the mound. Bower! Bower! It's a good movie. Get that clip. Anyway, the pitcher turns. He steps off the rubber, so it's not a balk. It's not a balk because he steps off the rubber. The second baseman is the hero of the play. Ooh, interesting. Full dive to sell that it was an errant throw. The shortstop, not as committed, but committed enough. I have it completely flipped. I think the second base dive is the easy move. The shortstop to do a... Fake dive, hezzy fall. Mm. That is more acting. Anyway, it works perfectly. And then the pitcher just runs at him and tags him out to end the game. And the best part about the video, Sad a coach. lot of people pointed out was the third base coach knowing it happened, not falling for it, and just walking off the field and then looks at his player who fell for it and just goes... There's history there. But a good job by George Starr. His celebration was awesome. George Starr. Yeah, it's a, a throwback name. It's a Vegas crooner. Yeah, well, it's half the Beatles combined. <laughs> Zach knows. He likes Zach's music. favorite band. That's what he wants us to tell everyone. They're up there. Oh. Back to the sports. Where would you put them? Where would you put them? Two. Behind the kooks? Right. You knew. Yeah. Kooks, Beatles. The sports. UFC. You know this gets me going. I tried to fight it for a little bit, but especially it's UFC 300, which I love that. And Max Holloway and Justin Gaethje. Holloway's got him. We're going. The crowd's having a good time. The final 10 seconds. Holloway's got it. Calls him to the middle of the ring. Says, you want to do this, which he didn't have to do. He already kind of won the fight. Uh, and Gaethje, who's a little bit of a nut, well, all these guys are a little nuts. They just start wailing at each other. Holloway gets them one second on the clock. UFC. Seems a little uncalled for. Had to win anyway. Big time. Guy was already lo losing. Gave him a chance to win. That's all now we ever asked knock for. me out? I've seen you make rules in your backyard to give people more of a chance to win before. Yeah, my dad loved that. I hate that rule. Heartbreak Alley, it was called, Zach. We had two trees in the middle of left field. If you hit the ball through there, it was automatically a tie game. When Luke and... And I played solo. We were like, no, I'm not playing Heartbreak Alley. That's stupid. I earned these runs. I also hated Heartbreak Alley. Yeah, it was a real dumb Let rule. the record show. It was a real dumb rule. Some are saying perhaps the wildest knockout in 31 years of 
of history. I think there's so much context you need to know because I watched this and I was like, that's the wildest knockout in 31 years of history. That's actually why I was excited to share this one with you because some of them are too brutal for us baby boys. What are you talking about? You said some of us baby boys. Scribble baby boys? Good team. Picturing BBD's face as the sun from Teletubbies. Hmm. If you've got a minute. (laughs) Not sports. Mexican news channel accidentally airs a man's testicles. Mm. The eclipse happened and they were like, send in your videos of the eclipse. (laughs) And everyone, Zach's laughing. Zach's laughing. He (laughs) positioned his balls in front of the sun. Yeah. The sun was blocked out, but it wasn't the moon. It was just his nuts. You could see some hair on the testicles. Yeah. And then the camera moves a little bit. Clearly his nuts. Just deep lengths to get his nuts on TV. For it to get on TV. I don't blame them putting on TV. Like at the very start, you're like, yeah, this is another one. You don't blame them for putting it on TV? I don't. Because just... once you see that it's testicles, it's very clearly testicles. Yeah, but you don't think someone's going to do that. It's the employee of the, the week. Employees. This week. I suggested these guys. You want to just choose one or four? How do you want to go about this? Or maybe it's just like a quarter. Quarter each? Yeah, because I don't like giving it to all of them. The Baseball Today crew put on a live event in LA. It went great. Uh, There's a lot of people there listening to some baseball talk with Trev and Rose, Rourke and Bill. Rourke flew out. Rourke doesn't fly a lot. No. We are actually with him on his first flight ever. And then he bought the red eye back so he didn't miss the Yankee game the next day instead of hanging out. Dan flew back. Early for more Yankee stuff, which we like. Bill flew out on his birthday because Bill doesn't care. Trevin Rose, eh. Requested whole milk only for everyone in attendance. That was the Weekly Dumb! Today's episode of the Weekly Dumb was brought to you by Shady Ray. Shady Ray has been with us for a long time. We love them as much as you love us. They have an exclusive offer for all the Weekly Dumbers out there, and it's pretty Good. Use code DUMB for 50% off two plus pairs of polarized sunglasses at ShadyRays.com. Code DUMB gets you 50% off two plus pairs of polarized sunglasses. And that offer applies to the custom Jimmy and Jake collab shades. So get yours now. These are mine. They're cool. Jake's are his. They're cool. Shady Rays, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's like walking off stage and it was echoing throughout the crowd. It's a crazy ratio of how many Teletubbies jokes I've done on this show. It's more than two. It was a big thing. Did you ever watch it? I never watched it. I had a niece. A niece? A cousin. cousin a younger cousin. But yeah, that's when Teletubbies was like a big thing. Huge thing. Luke when watched I a lot no. after he was birthed like a horse. No, Luke didn't watch that shit. We were we singing Sillyville strictly.